Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on determining the nth term formula of a descending arithmetic sequence. Now in a previous video we explored what arithmetic sequences are. They're just sequences where you're adding or subtracting the same amount each time. So for example in this sequence we're subtracting 3 each time. They're going down by 3. Now we saw a method for finding the nth term formula when the sequence was going up and just because they're going down this time, the mass doesn't change. Just because we're dealing with negative or fractional values, that doesn't break mass. So remember what we previously did. We said whatever the difference was between terms, we take that number, in this case minus 3, it's going to be a negative number, and just put that on front of an n. So we're going to start our nth term formula as minus 3n. And what I mean by an nth term formula is that if you know the position of the sequence, so let's say we want the 10th term, we can shove that 10 for the 10th term into a formula and that will tell us what the number of the sequence is, the 10th term of the sequence. Now, once you've got the first bit of the formula, what I always do is I say, well, what would the first term of the formula be? Well, if I want the first term, then n is 1. n is 1, 1 means the position, the first term, so we do minus 3 times 1, and minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. Now we've got minus 3 as a first term according to this formula, but we don't want minus 3, we want 11. So what do we need to do to correct the minus 3 to get to 11? Well we need to add 14, don't we? And don't worry, I'll do another example in a second. So let's just check that for the second term of the sequence, just to be doubly sure that this is right. If we want the second term, then n will be 2, to mean the second term. So we do minus 3 times 2, which is minus 6. Minus 6 plus 14 is 8, which is indeed the second term. So our formula is definitely right. What about the second example? Well, again, first step, always find the difference each time, whether positive or negative. So we can see it's going down by 1 each time. The difference is minus 1. So our nth term formula starts with minus 1n. We take that difference and put it on front of n to give you the first part of our formula. And then we think, well, what would the first term of our sequence be? Well, if we want the first term, we do minus 1 times 1, which is minus 1. But we don't want minus 1 as a first term. We want 9 as a first term. So what do we do to get from minus 1 to 9? Well, we need to add 10. So you put plus 10 here, and that fixes it. And again, you could check this formula works for the second term to be absolutely sure that your answer is right.